We care about our patients. We care about each other. The whole uh, thing has been very frustrating. Anu Marley knows what it's like to wait. Her knee surgery was canceled when her blood pressure skyrocketed. Soon she'll be back on a wait list. Hopefully it's not going to be a long wait because walking around with knee pain is, is quite debilitating and frustrating and painful. The Canadian Institute for Health Information has been tracking surgery backlogs over the course of the pandemic. While more surgeries are now being done, the backlog is still well above pre-pandemic levels. We can see that there's only been a couple of occasions where the numbers of surgeries completed have risen above what was done in 2019. If we aren't able to sustain 219 levels and higher, we won't be able to catch up. There is a lot of variation for knee surgeries when looking at data from 2022. In British Columbia, 56% of surgeries were performed within the recommended time frame of about six months. That drops to 23% for patients in Saskatchewan, and Ontario tops the list with 68% of people getting the surgery within the desired window. Dr. John Townley says the operating rooms at Humber River Hospital in Toronto are running at capacity. They have some of the shortest wait times. The vast majority of our cases are now day surgery cases, i.e. after the surgery is completed, we do not have to admit the patients to a surgical bed on the floor. They are discharged home. Experts say the discrepancies are unacceptable. We run all our healthcare systems in silos. We need a more national approach. Stop. Because quality of life is on the line. These people are in pain. They can't work. Their families are falling apart. They're suffering from addiction because of their pain. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.